Hello and welcome to 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab al -Fatih. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at the Dhabiya Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the approval of the general budget draft law for the fiscal year 2017 to 2018, which was the result of close cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities, combining the rationalization of spending and financial discipline in order to satisfy current developments, preserve the rights of citizens, and strengthen and support the position of medium to limited income families. He directed all ministries and government agencies to tighten control of public funds, arrange government expenditures according to priority and eliminate any harmful spending as well as speed up the completion of government projects included in the budget within their given time frames. He also ordered the acceleration of the implementation of plans and executive programs to activate the projects included in the budget. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister ordered improved health care services, housing, education and social services. He urged ministries and government agencies to regard the private sector as a key partner in economic performance in the overall development process. On a related note, His Royal Highness praised the Gulf Support Program as a supportive and complementary force for the projects included in the general budget and for its role in boosting the national economy. The cabinet condemned the ban of worshippers from entering Al-Aqsa Mosque by the Israeli occupation authorities, describing it as a provocative act and a clear violation of the sanctuary of holy places and international laws that guarantee freedom of worship and the practice of religious rites. The the cabinet also strongly condemned the terrorist attack on a security patrol in Al-Ghadib, Saudi Arabia, that was carrying out its duty to preserve security and praised the efforts of the Saudi security forces in combating terrorism and terrorists, in addition to their vigilance, which is reflected in the stability of Saudi Arabia. The cabinet expressed its support of all measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to ensure its security and stability. In regard to Egypt's terrorist attack, the cabinet condemned the, the targeting of a security patrol that took place in the governorate of Giza. The council affirmed its firm stance with Egypt in combating terrorism and its solidarity with the procedures to be taken to preserve its security and stability. Concerning these citizens' observations and complaints, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister instructed that the adequacy of services and facilities in Genosan be verified, especially regarding roads, sanitation, and housing. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning along with the Ministry of Housing to follow up on the matter. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also ordered the acceleration of development projects in Mharra Governorate, including the university project, and urged follow-up by the relevant authorities. He stressed the importance of archiving and documentation in government ministries and agencies of services and achievements. He also urged the establishment of a record to preserve the role of the Bahrainis who worked in these ministries and left their mark by improving services. His Royal Highness ordered the employment of 230 nurses as part of a recruitment plan in the budget to add to the 430 Bahraini nurses who were recruited during the two previous budget cycles. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, the Cabinet examined the housing portfolio and its achievements in providing adequate housing for citizens. Housing is considered a priority in the decent life the country is keen on providing to citizens. There was also a showcase of the development of the housing process from 1960 until 2017. The Cabinet approved the merger of the General Directorate of Urban Planning at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning with the Planning and Urban Development Authority into an entity called the Urban Planning and Development Authority, which will answer to the Minister of Works. The Cabinet agreed that the main organizational structure will be headed by an Executive President with the rank of Undersecretary and a Vice President with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary and will be structured into five departments. The Council also mandated the authorities to take the necessary legal and technical measures. The Cabinet approved the executive regulations of the Law of Standards and Metrology and the draft resolution issued from them. The Cabinet appointed the Ministerial Committee on Legal Affairs to undertake the necessary procedures to ratify the agreement between Bahrain and the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons on its privileges and immunities signed by Bahrain at The Hague.
And the cabinet discussed a number of proposals and approved the government's draft response to them as prepared by the Ministerial Committee on Legal Affairs. As part of Bahrain Saudi Security Cooperation and Coordination, Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa visited Saudi Arabia yesterday. He was welcomed at King Abdulaziz International Airport in Jeddah by Saudi Interior Minister His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Interior Minister congratulated his counterpart for the royal decree by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, of his appointment as Interior Minister and wished him success. They held talks in the presence of their delegations and His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz briefed the Interior Minister on the latest security situation and the operations by Saudi security authorities to fight terror and extremism. The Interior Minister focused on the results of his visit to the U.S. last week and topics of common interest were also discussed. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid and his accompanying delegation then visited El Shati Palace in Jeddah to offer condolences on the death of His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Rahman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and prayed to Allah Almighty to rest his soul in peace. He was accompanied by Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, President of the National Security Agency, Sheikh Dalal bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, Customs President Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and senior ministry officials.